So at Bayer, when we think of innovation and, and R&D, we first begin by thinking about the farmer and, and their challenges on farming. The task is clear. We have to produce 50% more food by 2050. And the path to do that is by scaling regenerative agriculture. One of the biggest challenges is making sure that what we're doing is going to be economically viable for a grower. Farming is difficult to make a profit and to be sustainable from an economic perspective. It has to be a win-win for the grower and that ultimately means it'll be a win-win for society, the planet, and all of us. We're a corn bean operation and we also raise some pigs. A farm up in northwest Iowa with two brothers. Uh, we have a corn soybean rotation. On our farm, we always want to push the envelope. We'll be looking at the next level. There's been a lot of talk in the industry, and so when we had the opportunity to plant Presion, we definitely jumped on it. When I heard about short stature corn, something that got seven to eight foot tall, I was giddy. Both the breeding and the biotech brings us a reduction in corn height of around 30% compared to the tall corn versions. By the end of the decade, we're gonna bring not just one, but two next generation soybean traits to farmers. Farmers have always had this appetite to understand what's the new next technology? Will it add value on my farm or not? And there's this, this constant drive for innovation. Crop protection is a critical part of our systems to help address farmer challenges and for us to sustainably feed the world. The technology is so much more uh, advanced. What we use on our farm is amazing. Our climate, climate field view of that platform is just an absolute key to our operation. We want to pass our and our soils and our fields and our farms to the next generation to produce more. Regenerative ag to me can be summed up in just passing it on. How do we pass it on to the next generation? How do we do it cleaner and better every day? And that's what we really push forward is minimizing our inputs and just maximizing everything we do. So doing the best job we can on every acre is really what regenerative ag is and then leaving it better for the next generation.